so once they fit, once, nah, I think now they fix it. We'll set the ball. So we got fixed, the All right, everybody. Welcome back. Here we go. Game number one of the winner's finals. Yes? Is this grand finals or winner's? Okay, here we go. Game one of losers finals. So what this is is Lelouch, the winner of the um, losers semifinals. That's a blue zerg in the top right hand corner versus Banana King. We just gonna call him Banana King, the yellow Terran in the bottom left hand corner. He was the loser of the winners finals. The winner of this game will be going on to the grand finals to face Lazen, who you guys did get to see in the first game. Very good Terran player. And so currently I have this game, or this series will be a best of three. So I will have to cast at least two games in this. And then the uh, final series will be a best of seven. So I will have to cast at least three games in that. So I have a minimum of five more games I have to cast. I have a maximum of 10. I am very tired, but it doesn't really matter because I really just want to keep casting. So this is so fun because this is just so exciting. There's just so many people chilling with me here in this room. Everyone's just having a lot of fun, and I just kind of love everything right now. So we see Banana King. We just opening with, you know, a standard opener. I keep saying this. It's just really what you, it's just what you do. Lelouch, we're going to get to see a few more games of his wonderful play with his 16 hatches and very solid strategies with the Infestors and the Roaches against Banana King. Now, the only thing we have seen Lelouch fall to so far is when he has been faced with some very early Hellion aggression, but it seems as if now he's playing a bit more conservatively, he's making sure to get out those Roach Warrens, that he's not going to lose terribly to some kind of big Hellion push, anything like that. And so, right now, he is just going for that standard hatch first that we've seen him do for so long, followed by the pool. We are likely to see him get an extractor fairly soon as well, just because that is what so many players do. They like to get that early zergling speed. Of course, you can also do a um, a no-gas style. Some, might, some people might say kind of a Spanishua style, but most of the time these days it's not as viable you need to try and get that map control you need that link speed and we actually have a one racks expand with the barracks being built on the low ground from banana king now lelouch there's a good chance he's actually going to be seeing this with his uh, overlord if he just moves it forward enough he will see it. he actually has already scouted it with his um with his drones so there's actually a good chance if he decides to go for some kind of big roach play or even like a baneling or zirkling run by he could do a lot of damage to this simply because his opponent does not really have a whole lot of units right now and he it, this is on the low ground is not protected by the wall if he could force a cancel on this he could be in very good shape so here we go three drones being pulled off put onto the gas so currently it is tied at 18 harvesters for each player but we have a few more coming out, and those queens are both about to pop for Lelouch, which will, of course, give him that highly increased production due to the extra larva coming from the injects. And, of course, we did see he keeps up with his injects fairly well. He's got some very good mechanics. Again, he is a master's level player. Banana King, I don't totally know the details on, but he has made it pretty far in the tournament. He has had to defeat, uh, let's take a look. He has had to defeat three players so far, and he was actually the player that knocked Lelouch into the lower bracket, into the loser's bracket. And so if he can win this game again against Lelouch, he will just kind of have established that he is the second best player. Now, Lelouch has got to be in a little bit of a tough mental position. I'm glad I have the bracket behind me so I can look. And he's just got to be in a kind of tough mental position because he knows, okay, if he's beaten me in a best of three before, is there any chance that I could maybe do it this time? And so, for now, he's just sitting, macroing up a little bit. He is throwing down that Roach Warren, just making sure he won't lose any kind of early pressure. And again, what I like to do with the Roach Warren is maybe throw it down right here, something like that, or just make it a little bit harder for Hellions to move around your base, just because that makes it just, you not only get the Roaches, but you get a little bit of extra security. And so, we do have the seven Roaches on the way again, so it looks like Lelouch going for this kind of Roach Bust style. And he might have used this against Banana King before, unfortunately I did not get to see the games. But, here we go, so he is going to be pushing out with these seven Roaches right now. And what I really like about this build is the fact that it's seven Roaches at about the seven minute mark, they'll hit your base, depending on the map, of course. 
but you have seven roaches, but you also have 31 harvesters, two queens, you have potential to get a spine, and here are the Hellions running in, and the roaches just moved out. And so fortunately for him, the Hellions cannot two shot these workers, but we do see three workers going down now. The queen doing as much damage as it can, and the spine about to finish, but we lose a bunch more workers here from Lelouch. She's losing a lot. One Hellion does get sniped, and it looks like he's not going to be able to get any more drones, but he killed eight workers with those two Hellions. But the Roach is coming out, and there's only there's one Marauder to help defend. He is pulling off SCV. He's going to repair this bunker, but it looks like he is going to be sniping these SCVs, doing a very good job with that. Of course, the Marauder, very effective against the Roaches. I think the Roaches might actually be able to take down the bunker, but no, the SCVs come back. They are repairing it, but he is going to be sniping those SCVs now. So here he might be evening up the count. So take a look at the workers and units lost after this happens. So currently... We lost eight workers. Banana King killed eight workers. Lelouch killed seven, so they're okay in that case. But Lelouch definitely lost a lot more with those roaches because seven roaches cost a lot more, of course, than two Hellions. We do have a Baneling nest on the way from Lelouch. He could be going for a Baneling bus. He sees this wall is a little bit vulnerable just with supply depots and bunkers. And he's also grabbing a third base. It's a very quick third base. He does know, of course, that his opponent does have this natural... that. He has sat up for a little bit. He did kill a good number of workers. So he feels safe. There's not a very big force on the field yet from either player, really. But I think it would actually be really cool. And it looks like Lelouch is going to be going for a Baneling bust here. He's going to be rallying them right over near the third. And then just probably morphing in a whole bunch of Banelings. The Hellion coming out is also going to scout the timing on this third. And so Lelouch... I. Is he going to be making some banelings? Maybe. He might be making banelings and waiting for reinforcing units, something like that. But it'd be very cool to see him go for a baneling boss against this player, take advantage, and be the aggressor himself. So right now, we just have Lelouch, Macri, and Polo, and there we go, nine banelings on the way. They're all, all being made right here, just outside the third, or the natural, of his opponent. He's also got roaches and zerglings rallying in that have the potential to do a whole bunch of damage once the wall is busted down, if it is busted down. The banelings there are finished. We have a whole bunch of zerglings here at the natural to help defend against anything. I'd love to see him rally those across the map, though, because if he's going to go for baneling dust, yes, here it is, the zerglings coming across the map, and it looks like he is going to be going, and is he going to salvage these? No, he's going to be going for a drop play, but this is going to make it, his units are going to be totally out of position, they're not going to be able to defend the ramp quite as well, the Roach is attacking, he's going to be running back, but the Banings are going to be running in, they're going to be busting down the bunker, flying in, killing all the Marines and SCVs, the Zerglings are getting surrounds on the SCVs, all the units being killed, terrible timing for Banana King to have lifted up his units, and the Natural is just being ravaged by these Zerglings and these Roaches, they're going to be busting up the ramp, Banana King forced to pull off a whole bunch of SCVs to see if he can repair, but damage being done to the command center and the supply depots and the main is about to be breached. Banana King does not have very many units and the main has been breached. Units pouring in running around, trying to get a good position, trying to get a surround on these units, and they are going to be attacking, and it looks like they will be cleaned up, but he's going to be doing so much damage here. Marines popping out. He's got a good number of Marines here, actually, killing off all these units. The Zerglings are not going to get too much work done. It looks like they're actually just going to be trying to run straight by. Maybe see if they can pick off any of those mules. If they can, that would be a huge victory for him. But Lelouch definitely did a good amount of damage there. He killed another 11 workers. We take a look at the income tab. He's up by 14. Not only that, he also killed a lot of units. He definitely evened up the workers lost time. Before he was behind by about 600. Now he's ahead by 47 resources. Just precisely, precisely 47. And we see Banana King seeing all of these guys here. He is just going to go ahead and evacuate this. He sees the banelings and the more roaches. But he doesn't actually have a whole lot of units. He has a lot of marines. They do indeed have the combat shield. I think, yes, they do have that combat shield as well as the stim. So if he can defend against this, but this is a lot of units here, and he might be able to snipe this. He's going to definitely force the liftoff. There's currently an SCV building. He needs to make sure he does not waste the banings on it, but he might lose that. Yes, he does lift it off, but not before it is burning. And it looks like the banings are going to be running up, busting down the supply depot, all running in. The banings could get off some huge hits on the Marines, killing all of the Marines from Banana King, and he has no units left. There is the GG from Banana King. And I'm going to be bringing you guys game two in just a second. This is such an exciting series. So I'll see you guys soon.